Line TV is coming to you from the 2007 Spocom Car Show and Expo in the Long Beach Convention Center. We've seen some of the outlandish customs that 5-Axis has dreamed up, but it was just a warm-up for their latest Scion prototype. Well, we're here, here at Spocom. This is what we've been preparing for, and, and this is the surprise car behind me. This here is the Fuse. The Fuse is a concept car, and the Fuse stands for Functional Utility Sports and Entertainment. Basically, this car was designed by Toyota, and it was built by us. We take their dream, their vision, their design, and we bring it to reality for them. The Fuse is a good example of what 5 Axis is about. This car here was built using all the high-tech gadgets that we have. You look on the interior, there's a lot of way out features and stuff. It's an inspiration to get people excited about an upcoming model. Let me show you some of the cool features on this car. Scions are all about personalization, customization. Check this thing out in the middle here. This is a video that is playing behind this emblem. The way we achieve this is it actually a piece of one inch fiber optic glass in here. So what it does, it takes the, the video image that's about an inch behind the emblem and projects it right to the front, making a really cool look. The headlights are all, again, about customization. If you, if you watch, they'll cycle through a bunch of different colors. This thing has got a very cool split, what they call split moonroof. What it does is it allows both the occupants in the front and the rear of the vehicle to get air. It's kind of called the toaster slot top because it kind of looks like two, two windows look like toaster slots. Come around to the back here, we have a unique, what they call a clamp style rear end. Both the top and the bottom are opening up so you can, you can see the amount of room you have to load stuff in. This is another really cool feature of this, this car. You can drop this down and load boards in. You can load other stuff. I don't know, other people have mentioned other things to me. I don't know what they're talking about. This is the cool part, too. It's a little curb high seat. So you could get, you know, if you're just chilling, waiting for something to happen, you can kick back here. Check out these door switches. There's no key, there's no door handle. You just push this bit thing here, you flip the door open. On this side of the car, there's basically two monitors here. Each monitor is designed to either play separately or you can play simultaneously. You can game, you can watch TV. If you take a look at the rear seat, it's designed kind of like a love seat that you would find in your living room. And this, this isn't Chris Angel here. This is floating outside of the car. So basically, the only attachment point is right there in the middle. The steering wheel is actually floating again. It uses drive-by-wire technology. Instead of a, a direct shaft to the steering rack, you, we actually have wires that are electronically controlled into the steering mechanism. All your information is in, inside the steering wheel there. So all, everything and all the, your buttons and all your controls there to activate your pop-up screens. So a lot of high-tech gadgets and, and devices in here. Again, you may not see them in production, but they're great inspiration for the future. The amazing selection of sport compacts at this show is more than enough reason to check out Spocom. But no car event is complete without some live entertainment. So they invited Sasha Singleton, one of the most famous models in the import car world, to give a fashion show promoting her new line of lingerie. Wait a minute. Redline TV is a program about cars, not scantily clad women. Let's get back to the cars. Wait a minute, what am I talking about here? Bring it on! 